fucked up because uh, I'm telling you, I'm not lying. I'm going through the worst phase of my life. Worse than high school, worse than getting fired, worse than losing everything. I don't even know how I'm smiling talking about it. I think it's... I mean, this is the first time in my life I called my mom to... Uh, you know what I mean? Have you ever been hurting so bad you talk to your mom? Yeah. You speak to your mom? Actually, <clears throat> it's not okay. Yeah, I can't even cheer on... Uh, chat up. It's getting worse for me, dude. Every time it gets worse. I thought you would try this mommy issues. Yeah. Mama. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. Stop. Like the last time I said that I was 21, I'm 29, dude. It, it went got better. Actually, it got worse. You know, when I used to suffer, it wasn't that bad when I was young. But then, you know, you get a taste of a better life. It's like you get, hey, here's heaven, and then it gets taken from you. Just don't give me heaven in the first place, bro. Don't give me that for your taste. If I had nothing, I was 20. Compared to, I wouldn't hurt. I feel, I feel people who hide that shit is so cringe. Like my red pill buddies, they hide when they're hurt. I find that shit so cringe. Mom says something a bit. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> no, I realize I've been fantasizing about good memories my whole life. And it's like, dude, you're thinking of the past. Like, I'm living in a memory. It's always like a year ago. It's not even that long ago. It's a year ago. But I'm always in that memory. something to say about this guy oh shit my lighting oh, right there what the fuck I got unplugged by you good idiot oh oh whoa check this out guys boom <laughs> how do I look Pretty stupid. I'm on Monday in my shorts, okay guys? Uh, put this down a bit. Stop going down. There we go. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, wrong way. Remote wrong way. I don't know, like, it's, it's late. It's currently 2 a.m. again. I don't know why I keep recording videos this time, but I do. <clears throat> I admit the truth, I'm an idiot for doing so. I'm gonna get a bit of water in, because I know there's gonna be a bit of a lengthy talk. Guys, don't look at my look at my micro tiny dragon, okay? <laughs> Why is the FOV wider when I have it on my phone? Okay, inception for a bit. John Zerka is a broken individual and he is a classic example of a person who never really truly grew up which I don't want him, I don't want anyone in this conversation to laugh at but it could be any of us the situation in which you you feel so down and dilapidated in life despite having money despite having all those women you kind of just don't know them you kind of just gone you kind of just left all alone aren't you John and because of this he just becomes this broken narcissist comedian type character, which I I find him hilarious. Let's be real, like it's not like oh you're, he's a liberal already. Okay, I don't I wanna get out of the way that I'm not a liberal. I'm not even American, so how can I be a liberal? Doesn't make sense. <clears throat> Starting to breathe through my nose, jeez. I think that John is a special character. And John is a, defi uh, a defining example of what I like to call if lack of what I like to call lack of problem solving. If you do not identify a problem, 
You cannot solve it. There is an inherent issue with John. He's mentally broken, he's dating mentally broken egos. He has this facade almost of a incredibly obnoxious character that doesn't make him happy. Which I doubt is truly genuine to his character. It could be. It could be just how he is. It could be just that. Or so This is an unflattering angle, guys. Oh, look. <laughs> I don't know if it was this or not. I'll zoom in on the camera. You guys can't see my balls. I think it's just... It, it is... It's weird because I, I heavily relate to this guy, but he's also 12 years older than me, no, 11 years and a month older than me. I look at him and I think to myself, like, within all that handsomeness, all that height, all those women, all that money, he still fails to retain happiness. And I think he's missing, out of the trinity of happiness, I think he's missing one of them. Freedom, I, I'm, I'm sure he has. Fitness, I'm sure he has. I mean, he's a bit fat recently. But, like, I don't think it would be too difficult for him to get back in shape. I think what he's missing is family. I don't know about his relationship with his parents, but... It's often difficult to see because he was born a Muslim, turned to Christian. This means his family probably, the entire family that are Muslim, probably like abandoned him. He's Albanian as well, and Albanian are very, how do I say, the strong-minded Eastern European people, according to my Albanian friends. And it's tough because he's a bit of an intellectual character. He's very, very intelligent, but. I think smartness works against him. I don't know why he particularly went to Christianity, despite the fact that Islam is stronger than Christianity these days. I guess it just is what it is. Okay, Paul. Look at my cat. He's by my feet. So dark, you can't see him. And it's quite sad to see. We all could end up like this. And I think finding out what we we lack in life, finding what we're missing in life, is very, very important towards our own happiness. You know, having an internet breakdown is so embarrassing. For the fact that we are human and we do break down. I, I literally had breakdowns on this channel as well. But it is embarrassing, admittedly. But people say, oh yeah, me too, I feel that way too. School is so draining, life is so draining, homework is draining, this sucks, that sucks. And I'm like, yeah, I agree, bro. Ooh, we all agree, we're all suffering. But finding out the root source of that suffering is step one of fixing that problem. In you know, life, there's a multitude of problems you have. Finding out the issues behind those problems is how you fix them. Motherfucker, man. <clears throat> I doubt he even talks to his dad that much. I don't know his entire family situation, but he's definitely missing one of the three. Maybe he thinks he has it, he clearly doesn't. Interesting, let's continue watching the video. We don't know. Hey, I love who I am in that memory. I love the people I'm around, too. It's like, and I hate those people now. That's tough. Here he talks about being, like, living perpetually in the past. Which I could feel as well. Even though I'm fucking 17, I barely live life. 18 soon. A lot of pressure coming up when I'm 18. Feels like a bomb is about to burst in 34 days. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. How many days left until the 10th of July? It's 33 days until then. Fuck, 33 days until the 10th of July. I count on my hands. 
three times, four times, glue, third time. <sighs> Fuck. No, life is not particularly looking up for me either. And unless I work extremely, 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 extremely hard, I don't think I'll get out of it. And for the most part, to me, it's income. I, when I st make, start making enough money, I think I'll be okay. If, I'll, I, I'm not even sure about that then because, like, I, I struggle to find people that really have the same, how do you this, desires, I guess, same purpose, same goal to me. And even when I do, we often kind of grow distant. Shout out to Hammy. watching this. And it just, it is what it is, but fuck, man. God help us say it's the person. But in the memory, dude, I, I want to tell you guys the, the, the highest level of depression I've ever felt. I'm not funny. I'm just, I just talk like you. Actually, this is the first time in my three years on the internet that I actually said I'm hurt. And uh, I think there's a lesson here, you know, because I'm always going to win. So there's a lesson here. But um, the highest level of depression I've ever felt, the trails, all that shit, actually stopped. And hold on, bro. <laughs> Actually, stop. YouTube chat sucks, bro. I'm going back to the other one. <laughs> Actually, stop. Shut the fuck up. But check this out. You don't know my level of pain until you start doing stuff that doesn't make any sense. Omega lulls you know in how chat. People cope, right? Lulls in chat. The highest love, level of depression I've ever felt. I scroll through eBay looking at time machines and pretending they're real. And Holy they're like thirty thousand dollars and stuff, and I pretend that they're that I can purchase them. If I'm forty minutes past by, I'm like, oh, I gotta edit a video, dude. That is the highest level of hurt I've ever felt. Yeah. It's like on eBay scrolling from Omega Lords, Omega Lords. This is like, man suffering. Yeah, you know, people have video games and stuff. I'm like, whoa, and you catch yourself doing freak shit like that. Like I look forty minutes. Uh, and I'm not smiling, I'm not pretending that the time machine is actually... I, I made it realistic, like it's very expensive to buy. And I'm not smiling at the screen, like imagine that was true. And since I'm a conspiracy brain, uh, imagine if I did buy, <laughs> buy one of those. I forgot the crystals. Yeah. So, okay. so okay. people... You know what that is? You know what the problem is? Escapism. There is something missing in his reality. And I think from taking this, it's not to psychoanalyze him, it's his choices. He hasn't made the best choices. That's why he like to go back in time, so he can make better choices. You can't go back in time, John. So how about you change the things that are here now? Why do you intensely desire to go back in time? What, what will you even do? Realistically, with the same brain, you might make the same mistakes. That hot girl might still be hot. In fact, if anything, hotter, because she's younger. It isn't. It isn't gonna make you happy. You're just running away from your issues. Jesus Christ, I'm a therapist. But I can, I can, I can relate it to myself. I can relate to a lot of young men out in the world. A lot of young women out in the world. That's why they all live in delusion la la land for the most part. In these fresh and fit shows. The majority actually live in reality. The minority, which is the vocal minority, live in La La Land. But even as they're the minority, they're still like 10, 20%, 30% women. Just the way it is, ladies and gentlemen. Just the way it is. It's like, I'm trying to bring it back to one of the videos I made, run away and achieve nothing. For the last eight years, he's run away and achieved nothing. And he's talking to a chat, which is generally apathetic, desensitized. 
fucking destroy like nerds, desensitized nerds. Don't care, KYS loser. Destiny, are we gonna lose this one too? What did I come back to? Literally, Kip, Steins Gate, IRL. They're just all joking. And some of them says, Zerker, it honestly, look, it honestly looks like your life is pretty chill right now. So, what's going on these past few days or weeks that's making you feel like it's gone to shit? It's him. Tunnel. And the way I've seen him recently on our come up, he's talking to Steeko, he's talking to GDR, he's talking to this guy, to that guy. He got blocked by Tristan Tate, he might actually meet Tate soon. Like, the way I see him, it, it's gonna make everything, everything just more, more babies. 29, 30. Like, I don't mean to be a dickhead and compare, but if you were to compare him to an individual like KSI, who's also 29, don't leagues apart, leagues apart. It's nuts. It's the way it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's the way it is. And then because he's around entertainers, Streamers, they don't take him seriously, they don't give a fuck. Even when he was talking about Destiny before, like, he replies to him on his own time. Destiny's probably not his real friend. And Destiny be like, well, who are you to say that? Who the fuck are you to say that? Well, the fact that you're milking him for content. <laughs> you know, if it was truly, truly, like, how do I say this? If you truly, truly cared, you wouldn't be playing this fucking factorial, factorial fucking stupid bitch ass video game you'll sit with him one, one on one talk to him this definitely isn't your fuck uh, he's even like he's questioning I've been through this period myself where I dropped I literally like detracted my attention 200% uh, I'm not, I could see a thousand percent from the guys I was playing games before I spent literally day and night with them he used to call them he used to nag them he used to like always be with them but I stopped and then they started doing it to me but I ignored them I effectively dropped them. I told them that I dropped them because they're fucking music geeks. I wasn't that back recently, but quite aggressive in my tone, my speech, telling them they, yes, they were loser geeks. I don't regret a single moment of that. Why would I? They are loser geeks. I would not like to be like them. What's itching my hand? It's got the sweat on it? I understand. I took a shower, man. Just things feel nice now. <laughs> and then he goes back to distracting himself. Well, you would not be happy playing video games, distracting yourself with social media, or hopping from one thing to another thing. You would not be happy doing these things. No matter how much woman you have, you will not be happy if you're genuinely unhappy with yourself. You might have a great time when you're lonely again, if you're the same. The happiness is like deep within of the outer. I'm trying to draw parallels to myself for this scarf video. I know it was Channing Cut, so I scarf. What have I escaped? Video games. What have I run away? Video games, social media. What have I done all these things? Just And I regret a lot of it. I mean, the truth, I regret a lot, a lot of it. John Zerka is that person you see the mistakes from. Smart men learn from the mistakes, wise men learn from the mistakes of others. 
Well, not just intelligent dude, he made such bad choices. It's insane. What would I do if I was John? I'm not sure, you know. I'm not sure. I think continuing to network and trying to make more money is a good way to go about things. But we have a lot of money. It's an interesting thing to think about. He said something really interesting like, I'm 29. I'm not married. I just go F off myself. Like, oh, you can get married when you're 30, but your kid, when he's 16, you'll be. F and if you may have a kid, like, first year, you're married. When you get married at 30, first year, you have a kid, straight up. Like, you fucking. You'll be like a real Christian family. You'll be 46 by the time your kid's 16. By the time they're 20, you'll be 50. But that's why, to me, like one of my big priorities I always wanted to, like, if I get rich, I can start a family early, and I can focus on taking care of the family. Like, I'm a good amount of time. But that does mean, like, a lot of my happiness, like, party time, it will evaporate. And I am effectively trading that for the party lifestyle. I think maybe, and only maybe, like, Six months to a year, I might spend in that party lifestyle. What you be? But for the rest of it, like, I would like after twenty-five to have children. So I have that five extra years. So instead of being forty-six and my kids sixteen, I am instead forty-one. I could say five years. Jesus Christ, that's disgusting. Let me get some tissue. I'll pause this. This should be on back. Right. Back. I didn't realize it, but I'm on a three day no fat streak. I think I'll just keep it up for a while. Then it's a month. I'm gonna try to get like an A plus plus no fat. I can't really cover the idea of like what would I do if I was John. I lost my own life. I was, on a to I was on a topic, but I kind of just forgot what it was. I don't really care. I thought you guys took care too. Whoa, whoa, muscle, whoa. Ah, oh, okay, never mind. Some bitches in LA. Well, uh, if you can find any, go for it, dude. Like DMing some bitches. <laughs> Zerka is a meathead, but he's our meathead. Take out the A and I agree. Zerka is a meathead. Methead? Honestly, the most real thing Zerk has ever said is the scariest position you can have is pretending you have all the answers. Then 10 years go by, 100, 25 years to learn that. Zerka can be so witty and insightful, 
said so nonchalant and carefree, though I disagree with him a lot. He seems like a genuine and funny person. Hope he gets through this rough patch. Do you know what phantom money syndrome is? No, tell me. I made it up. Phantom income syndrome is the income syndrome is the concept that a person's business experiences cash income, net of expenses and for taxes, and is not a reliable source. It's not a reliable source of operating income. Millions of Americans and businesses experienced phantom income uh, income during the past year through multiple rounds of stimulus checks and business loans funded by the government, according to data released by the administrative office of U.S. courts. New oh, cat. New court. New business bankruptcy filings fell for for the year ending June 30, 2021, almost by 18. Percent of eighteen thousand from the five hundred eleven. Not even non business bankruptcies of the year, but over the year, by almost one third. So only four hundred and thirty three, four hundred forty three thousand seven hundred ninety eight new filings. In March twenty twenty, the COVID nineteen pandemic forced many businesses to shut down their doors and lose their sources of income. Business owners and operators had to make quick decisions in order to survive the unknown of pandemic lockdowns. Most companies immediately tried to save money by cutting costs through deferring rent, furloughing employees, and eliminating unnecessary expenses. These initial reactions caused unemployment to skyrocket and financial markets to plunge. Throughout the spring of 2020, a flurry of companies quickly filed for bankruptcy protection to restructure everyone, restructure overwhelming debt obligations, debt obligations, and find additional sources of funding in order to survive. Jesus. More than a year later, there's a common perception that, a pandemic caused, that the pandemic caused a financial strain on almost every person in business. Driven by the news, this perception is because we won't want the negative impact of the pandemic caused by the pace of business to close. We're not going to frame what's happening. We followed. Fine. So that means every day we see a physical scars of the pandemic through the recently banned storefronts and shut restaurants scattered throughout the country. Financial life support. A third five year low in balance of filing as you do to find out support following the legislation of care and the whatever. Yeah, right, right, right. It's a real thing. He's hilarious, but I think he's broken as an individual. I don't know what else I can say about him. I think he's just constantly distracting himself and not facing his own issues. Anyways, what can I say? I don't know. I'm not him. I don't know him. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.